I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Here's the Jews freaking out. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? This is the perfect time for Jesus to be like, All right, everyone chill out. Like, I'm just speaking metaphorically. Just goofing, just goofing out like, here, this guys. This is one of my many parables, right? <laughs> but that's not what he says. This is what he says. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. So in my mind, that's like as explicit as one can possibly be. After this, many of the apostles, it's the only time in the scriptures were his followers, people who, think about it, these people had left their homes, their children, their families, left their work, just to follow this man around Galilee and Judea because they were so captivated by him. They had seen him raise somebody from the dead. And then he says this, and they're like, I can't do it. I can't get on board.